What up, YouTube verse? Your boy T.I.M. A.K.A. Tim Diggity. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, vid on how I, me, you know, I'm not saying it's the right way, but how I shrink wrap or whatever, plastic wrap, whatever you wanna call it, my sneakers. All right, be right back. So let's go over what you need. Shrink wrap, heat gun, sneaker. Now you can buy shrink wrap that's made specifically for sneakers and normally it's like cut so that the top, you know, the top part of the sneaker, the bottom, the top, the back, and it's cut to fit a sneaker, but you're gonna spend more money on that and you get less of this so it'll fit a sneaker a little better. It's up to you. I'm not about that life, I make it work. So you take the bag, take your sneak, now this is my way, remember that, this is my way. This isn't the right way, the wrong way. This is the Tim Diggity way. And you just put that sneak in there, however, because I'm not worried about how people uh, look at my uh, display or anything like that. You know, you, you don't like the way my stuff look, get out of my house, ha uh ha. -huh. And those of you that I bring into my house via camera, I'm sorry, but yeah. So there it is. So I just stick it in there like that. And then what I do next, I gotta plug up the heat gun, all right? And we'll be right back. You two, turn on the heat gun, high or low. I use low. Yeah, I use low. It's gonna heat up real quick, right? So the thing is, is uh, keep it away from the plastic until you're ready. Because once you start hitting it with the plastic, you see that plastic? It's just, it's just melting away. It's just melting away. So again, I don't really care about how it look on there and stuff. The idea for me is just to put it to get them in there, you know. I'll heat like the top where, you know, the, the cutaway would have been better and I just mash it down with the gun. <laughs> so that's what I do. All right, grab the bottom, do the same thing, mash it down, heat it up. It's classic, mash it down. But don't put the heat in one spot too long or you'll make a hole. I've done that a couple times. Now, as far as the back, the reason I got the back looking like that, some people cut it, but I don't. And I'll show you why in a second, all right, hope. So the reason why I don't cut the back, like I was saying earlier, is because I actually, although I'm putting them in plastic, I want a little bit of air to get in there, you know what I mean? I mean, the plastic's still gonna seal around itself. Like I was saying, I mash it down, heat it up, mash it down, you know? So the plastic's still gonna make a nice little seal, as you can tell by how glossy it looks. I don't know if you can really tell, but mash it down. See that? That's one. One is done, so let me turn that off. Put it on the box the sneakers came in. So there's a little spot back here. There's normally a little spot that gives you room for air, but you think you get air, but look at that. You don't really get air, you know? So let me show you a trick of the trade. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, trick of my trade. <laughs> be right back. YouTube, so I do two things when I put a sneaker in. I squeeze it, right? I'm trying to make a little air pocket. And then I take something shop. In this case, it's some scissors. And all I'm gonna do, and this is me again. This isn't you, don't, I don't wanna poke myself. This is me, this is the Tim Diggity way. This isn't the professional way. I'm not selling my sneakers. They're not up for display for people to see that are coming in the store potentially buy. You know, this is just set up in my basement the way I want them. So I go ahead and poke a hole, uh, slice it. I make a little like cross right there. So pretty much I put a little hole in there. And the reason I do that, right? Let me tell you why. Hold up and I'm gonna tell you. I want air to get in there, you know? Because all of this crap will start drying out if you leave it too airtight, okay? All right, I'm gonna do the other sneaker, show you what they look like sitting up on the thing thing and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, remember this is the Tim Diggity way. This is the way that I shrink wrap, plastic wrap, whatever, put my sneakers in a wrap. You know, de depending on who you talk to, it messes the sneakers up. It can dry them out, blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, it happens, right? Think about it. So this is what they look like. That's them just sitting there. See, it ain't the best in the front. You know, if I was selling them, or like if I had a sneaker store, then I'd take my time and do it a little better. But I don't, so I won't. They're just gonna go up there on the shelf, you know, the holes in the top. 
Boom, bang, bing, be back. Folks, so there it is. I put them up there, right there. But well, that's the window, right there. You know, again, I'm not, I'm not an easy person. I mean, I know that colorway is probably ugly to some people. I don't care. It's my money. Leave me alone. Anyway, there they are. You know, up there. They could, they, you know, they, they not. In my opinion, they're not, they're not, they're not worthy of the, you know, what I mean, of the Jays. You know, they're not to me. They're not worthy to be up in there with them retros and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That whole on them. Like, subscribe, comment if you like. Peace. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work.